Mark 7 update. We just gave it a wash at our local piece of shit self-serve. You gotta say, the, the water pressure is really not sufficient at that wash. Left a lot of crap on the paint, but we're gonna try and buff the roof. Probably kind of see here. Maybe the scratch marks and stuff. Previous owner tried to do this and he sucked. Like most things he tried to do. It's like he might have got the trunk lit a little bit too. But uh I think I think this shit'll come right back. Of course, you know, crappy St. Louis water leaves spots. couple passes on the roof here also why is this cloth so small but see how she comes back she's got a rub rub Ooh, yeah I think that took most of the scratches out it's kind of nice of course now the entire car is covered in wax so <sighs> yeah. Ooh, this looks like I fixed it get a longer extension cord so I can get the rest of the freaking trunk lid done. I haven't even hit this with the fine pad yet. It's gonna get even more shiny after that. Go over to the other side. Yes. Oh, yes. Got some wax in there. Oh yeah, that looks way better already. <laughs> I definitely use another another pass through with the fine pad. I think we broke up all the oxidization. Yeah, minimal paint loss too. Way better shape than the Marquis paint. Yeah, it looks pretty good, clearing up nice. Had to flip her around so we could reach the trunk because. Uh, I don't have a long enough extension cord. Here we go. Looks like the trunk lid is gonna come right back too. Looks like they didn't screw this up as much when they were buffing it. Oh yeah, mirror finish. Didn't even go to the fine pad yet. Didn't even go to the fine pad. That's looking nice. Looking real nice. All right, this is where we're at right now. A lot better than earlier, but there's still a tiny bit of oxidation left there. I think what I'm gonna do is switch to the fine pad all right well i forgot to video the final pass with the fine pad but at least we got this part wow yeah that came right back 
Let me get this thing stored in the garage so it doesn't oxidize the paint any further. I gotta clean up all the the wax splash and then uh, well actually there is some oxidation left there. Still far better than it was. So you know I'd rather use caution and not go too far. Also running out of wax here, so it's the other issue. We need to get another bottle. So That'll be the end of the video for today. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, I don't know what the next video is gonna be. Kinda need to take a little break after doing all that shit with the oil pan. Said, took me two weeks in real time. It really, uh, really took it out of me. I need to drive the truck around a little bit. All right, just kidding. We found another bottle of wax. So, this is gonna be the final pass. Okay, we're actually done now. So what we ended up doing is uh, finding this other bottle of polishing compound that I have, using that on the fine disc. Which, you know, probably should have used that at first. But then it was super hazy, so I uh, used the remaining fucking bugs. Small bottle of cleaner wax that I had to uh, polish all that to a shiny finish. Because uh, when you put the polish on there, that makes that shit dull. So, you know, the third or fourth time I bought the car, I think it came out okay. We'll get a walk around after this. All right, this is the Lincoln. We just finished the buff job. Oh, that sun is bright. It's like close up on the roof, how shiny it is. Needs the red parts replaced in this badge or just a new badge. power antenna doesn't work just the one sticker that was on the car anybody who knows what this is please uh, put it below in the comments I have no clue see it's uh, missing the badges from the mirrors these uh, door strips are all freaking cracked up you gotta wonder if there's a way to get all the coating off and just make them chrome I think there's a lot of chrome on this car already, and it would probably blend pretty well. Let's see, let's uh, make our way up to the front here. Mark 7 badge. Still intact, but faded. Probably need to do a better job on the chrome, but you really only buffed the roof and the trunk today because the paint was terribly oxidized. And you know, of course, when you do that, all the wax flings all over the rest of the car, so he gets a micro buff. Next order of business is gonna be to clean up these wheels. I haven't touched these at all since we got the car. But I I believe they could look a little nicer. A little bit of TLC. I got the driver's side. Rub strip is the same over here. Let's get another view of the roof. See that shiny reflection now of the house. The trunklet had a little bit of the issues too, but not nearly as bad as the roof. Somebody really screwed up the roof. Okay, let's go inside, get it together. Hopefully its camera is set up properly for this. Which, uh, it seems a little dark, so let's switch the ISO. Alright, what else ISO we got? No, it's standard. I think we might have done a video on this already, but Lincoln has all kinds of cool stuff. Power seat, power locks. This thing's kind of loose, but I think that might have something to do with the door panel being held in by self-tappers. So eventually we're going to have to pull this off and uh, put it back on correctly. You know, got dash coverage because... Old 
Probably ought to roll down the windows. Ooh, yeah, this footage is kind of dark, but. That's the Lincoln. Maybe I should start it. That seems like something to do. Yeah. Got this cool blue key. Starts right up. 